Yo yo, welcome to lesson 49. Today we're going to learn how to use Next.js and also how to add routing to our application. At the end of the lesson, you're going to create something that looks like this. So first off, Next.js is a flexible React framework that helps you build your applications faster. Next.js also supports server-side rendering. At the moment, the Pokédex React app that we created is client-side rendered. Let me show you what that means. So in the Pokédex app, right-click and click Inspect. Now hold Command, Shift, and P. And now type JavaScript and click Disable JavaScript. And refresh the page, and as you can see, nothing has loaded. Now right-click again and go back to Inspect. And if you look at the code, Basically, when JavaScript is disabled, none of the React code that we wrote is injected into the root. So client-side rendering basically relies on JavaScript to add elements onto the page. So basically, with server-side rendering, the HTML is rendered on the server side and passed over from the server to the client. So that means on the client, it doesn't need to do any type of rendering. And this also improves SEO because now sites like Google can actually see the contents of the HTML as opposed to what we have right now, where basically we just have a div with the ID root and nothing inside it. We'll learn more about server-side rendering in a future lesson, but for now, let's set up a Next.js app. So open your terminal and go to your development directory. Now type npx space create-next-app and let's name our app Next.js-app and hit enter and hit Y. And this will basically install the packages that we need for Next.js. And as you can see, the dependencies are React, React DOM and next. And once it's finished, just do cd nextjs app and hit enter. And now to run the application, just run yarn space dev and hit enter. And this is basically the same as React development. It will create a development server on localhost 3000. So copy this link and paste this link in the browser and hit enter. And you'll know that everything works when you see welcome to nextjs. Cool. Now open the project in VS Code. And as you can see, based on the file structure, it's very similar to React. If you open the public folder, you're not going to see a index.html. Rather, that exists inside the pages folder. And basically in Next.js, we can route files based on the naming of the file path. So basically index.js represents the index page that we saw. And the underscore app.js file is basically the crux of our app. Cool. So now inside the pages folder, let's create a new file and let's call it vincent.js and hit enter. And now let's go to index.js and now let's copy everything here and paste it inside vincent.js. And now let's get rid of everything inside the return statement and erase it. And let's erase this as well. And now let's add a return statement. And here, let's return a p tag that says vincent is cool. And let's hit save. And now let's go back to the browser. And now let's add a slash and type vincent and hit enter. And just like that, we added a new page to our application and we're able to route to it very easily. Cool. Now let's add a way to link back and forth from Vincent and the index page. So first, let's clean up the imports. So let's delete everything up here and now type import and type link with a capital L. Now type from and open the quotation marks and type next slash link just like that and add a semicolon at the end. And now let's rename home to Vincent. And now let's wrap this P tag inside a div. So let's do div and now let's move the P tag inside it. Cool. So now let's add a backlink. So go to the next line and create a link tag with a capital L and type href equals and open the quotation marks and put slash to get back to the index. And now let's close it. And now inside add an a tag and type back. And now let's save this. And now let's copy the import and go back to index.js. And now let's add this import under image. And now in line 17, let's wrap this a tag with the link tag. So let's do link and let's do href equals quotation marks into slash Vincent and open the quotation marks and close it. And now let's copy the a tag and put it inside, uh, get rid of the href and replace Next.js with Vincent. And now let's hit save, go back to the page. And here you see welcome to Vincent and now let's click Vincent. And this takes us to Vincent and we can also click back to get back to the index. And just like that, we added routing. Wasn't that super easy? Anyways, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.